Welcome to Techrix Info, the engineering tutorial hub. Hi, uh, let's learn about the JCB uh, working electrical components today with this animation over here. So, the JCB electrical cluster is placed towards the right hand side of the operator that means inside the cabin towards the right hand side of the operator we have the cluster and the control switches now let's identify the controls so the rear working light switch is over here towards the right hand side uh, when we press it towards the half both these side lights glows and when we press it towards the full uh, the two other uh, bigger lights also glows so uh, all the four four light glows when we switch this uh, switch towards the full direction and then towards the next we have the front uh, working light switch so this is the front uh, working lights over here so when we put this uh, switch on we have uh, the front working light switch working uh, or it uh, glows and uh, towards the front uh, on the side of the steering uh, actually towards the right hand side of uh, the operator I mean the right hand side of the steering we have uh, this headlight switches over here so this is the headlight switch so this is a two position uh, high beam you can see the two position high beam uh, it can be switched on by this switch which is on the front of the cabin towards the right hand side of uh, the steering and towards the rear side uh, it glows when the brake is applied so this is the rear lights when glows when the brake is applied and interior of the brake lights we have two other small lights which glows when the machine travels in a reverse direction okay and now let's see the headlight uh, high beam uh, uh, light over here this uh, blue light glows when the headlight uh, high beam is on and this is the uh, headlight on this green one glows when the headlight is actually on and this uh, yellow one over here on the right uh, glows this uh, uh, rear working light this glows when uh, it's on and this left one is the front working light this glows when the uh, front uh, working light is actually on and this is the hazard when the hazard is on this one glows and towards the front uh, of the operator that means beneath the steering we have this particular uh, light which uh, glows when the side indicators are actually on now let's see the instrument cluster instrument cluster can be visible at the right hand side of the operator and it has these blocks as you can see over here these are all indicators or sensors which give warnings when uh, any light is on so uh, uh, let's see them in detail in the next slide over here we can see the engine rpm meter beneath that we have the hover meter reading so this is a digital meter which shows the hover meter of the machine it starts clocking when the engine is running and towards the left beneath here we have uh, the engine water temperature gauge so this is the engine water temperature gauge top shows hot and bottom shows uh, cool condition so alarming when uh, the needle reaches the red mark that means the engine is uh, overheating then we need to uh, switch off the engine and make sure that engine cools and check the radiator and other peripherals to make sure that nothing has went wrong over there and here we have towards the left uh, this is the fuel level indicator uh, fill diesel fuel before needle reaches the uh, red mark at the bottom okay so these are the indicators uh, this one glows when the battery charging uh, is required it glows when the engine is running and it means battery is uh, not charging so we need to attend towards the battery and clear the issue and this indicator is in red it glows means that the engine oil pressure is something wrong with it so it glows when engine is running it means pressure is not in the normal range so we need to attend to that beneath uh, this indicator glows when the transmission oil pressure difference occurs it glows actually when the engine is running and it shows that the transmission pressure is not in the normal range so we need to attend towards the transmission system and make sure that it's pr uh, issue uh, with the pressure or any failure has happened towards the sensor or the electrical system then here we have the transmission oil temperature sensor so this uh, one glows when uh, the transmission oil temperature is high okay and towards the left you can see air filter choking so this is a very important signal glows when the air filter is choked immediately attend towards the air filter and replace the air filter and then only uh, run the machine otherwise the engine failure can happen uh, the next one is the engine temperature 
this one indicator glows when the engine is in an overheating stage attend towards the engine off the engine allow it to cool check the radiator and other peripherals to make sure that nothing has gone wrong and this is the parking brake light glows when the parking brake is engaged and machine is moving forward or reverse with the parking brake on okay now let's see uh, the relays so when we open the cluster we can see the fuse box and the relays inside the cluster as positioned uh, the first one is the dump relay second one is the parking brake relay third one is the working light relay fourth one is the cap head light relay fifth one is a forward relay sixth one is the reverse relay seventh one is the cab head light relay the eighth one shows the cab head right relay again that's the rear one and the ninth one we have the forward relay tenth one we have the horn relay here towards 11th we have the ignition relay 12th is the start relay 13th one is the ignition relay again 14th one is a flasher indicator 15th is a buzzer and finally 16th is a flasher it's a reverse alarm over there uh, so those are the fuses and relays positioned and about the battery an exit battery of 12 volt is used in uh, construction equipment like backhaul loaders of JCB and uh, make sure that the electrical connections are cleaned and tight and petroleum jelly is connected towards it to prevent corrosion it has four indicators green white and uh, the red one check the battery charging status green shows it's an okay stage white shows it need to be charged and the red shows add uh, distilled water and it need to be charged always use coin to open the uh, plugs instead of uh, screwdrivers it's over here the plug it can damage the plug clean the vent hole in the plug when it is choked it has a vent hole so clean it add distilled water only as per the recommended level don't fill it above or below the recommended level always fit battery leads in the correct tapper position to avoid battery terminal damage and better contact always fit positive lead that's the red one first and the negative lead back black one second and when we take off the leads negative lead black has to be removed first and then uh, only position the red one that is uh, the positive lead clean the surface uh, properly while negative lead is to be fitted these are all for safety reasons of the um, uh, of the battery so i believe you got the idea about the electrical system of a backhaul order machine for more engineering tutorial video updates please click the subscribe button on top of this video if you have find this tutorial useful please click the like button or drop a comment to motivate us we are also available on facebook thanks for watching this video